All right, you know what? I just looked at part of my videos from yesterday and thought, you know what? I'll go ahead and share it. It's not a complete drive, just a little bit of highlights was leaving yesterday morning. And just thought, you know, it's crazy. Up here, my videos upload within minutes. Down there at my parents' house, hours. If you ever watched my morning conversations down in Florida, they wouldn't populate till like midday because down there, the upload is the worst. It's a joke. But anyways, hey, enjoy the video. It's just uh, just sharing it if you want to watch it. And talk to you later, right? <laughs> Good Sunday morning. And welcome to Ice Age TV Departure Day. Got the kid here thinking she's going to be in the nice warm environment. You're not. It's going to be colder up north than down here. But wow, the project. The continued packing, packing, packing. Hard to believe I didn't have his trailer. How the heck? Get home. There you go. Seriously. Yeah, the, the garage is gotten thinned out. <laughs> yeah, the challenge is a life, right? I just have to put my stuff away in the bathroom, then I'm ready. But I can't get this damn shoe untied. And I'm wow, to wow. Well, already wound up. Just wound up on the Sunday morning adventures of Leave Town. Wow. What's the All right. I'll just do some video on us heading out of here and. So it all plays out right with my dad here and mom and wow there's some of these more stuff going on up you know yesterday my wife calls me and tells me that she thinks we're gonna be running into snow and ice up north i'm like what anything about that yeah right i mean i think she's her mom called her and said that over there in tennessee and carolina they're getting snow and ice so i'm thinking oh jesus great that ain't going to work out today, but as far as I know, that's not going to be in our path. Famous last words, right? Well, anyways, just trying to get things here in order to get out of town and get the kid all ready to go. The dog's all ready. He's still challenged out here on getting everything in gear. So, how's the Harley looking? Make sure these are still nice and tight. And How about that idea, huh? Got a little creative and... That kind of worked out, didn't it? Right? See, but that could probably be... I don't know, these things are so already so compressed. I just don't want to compress those forks anymore. I've already gone. Beautiful morning. I mean, it's supposed to be sunshine and just overcast all the way up, as far as I know. And uh, I think everything's in pretty good shape. But look at this here, man. Just if you <laughs> travel, maybe travels, you know. Getting back, going around with all your stuff. I mean, it's just, it all starts to add up. Wish that little light worked. I wonder if that dang light work. Yeah, you know, it's never ending. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, follow us along as we head north back on our long road trip. I was wanting to be out here about 7 o'clock. I woke up at like 5.40. And look, it's 7.05. We still haven't left. All good. Follow us along for the road trip adventures. Come on, little baby. It's time to go home. Wow. Whoa. Run me over. Come on, little babies. Whoa. Whoa, sir. Found them? Where are they? Back on the other side. Hey, grab that jacket of mine, too. I'm putting the trailer. Behind the seat. Oh, goodness. Oh, project. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not lying. I've spent five hours getting ready to leave from this place. Borderline. Some people have movers come in their house and move their whole damn house. Isn't it? It's cold down here. Now, start her truck up. And I would not want to run because it's about run out of gas. Huh? All right, time to say bye bye. Let me clean my where's the truck key? And the adventure begins. Wow, Skirt. Okay. All right, there, you two peas in a pod. You got to be separated. <laughs> <laughs> right? The two peas in a pod. Wow. Huh. All right, buddy.
All right. Everybody accounted for and present? Yes, they are. There's my riding companions. There goes Poppy to get his coffee. His morning routine. Uh, all right. Wow, what time is it? It's 7.30. And I'm going to adjust my brake thing, which I can't ever figure this damn thing out. Oh, Poppy's doing. I think he's kind of confused here. I don't know why he's doing all that. I don't understand what my dad's doing. Huh. I would have thought he'd be going up there to Starbucks. I don't really know what that's all about. Got that key, this key. Oh, my goodness gracious, everybody. Follow my YouTube channel. What a what, what the hell was that? Uh, my truck's dragging the ground, probably. So much more weight this time. Because last time, oh, what's with my kid? Uh, it just doesn't end. I don't know. So let me see here now. Get this thing. So it's over to the right. She's on the left. Can't tell. See this thing here? Yeah, got problems. Hey, baby. My my windows won't let me roll down. I have no I idea. Can't roll down. I don't know. Why? I have no idea. Are you kidding me? I actually don't. I they won't let me. I even turned off the truck. You don't have it very locked? I don't know. Oh well. I just can't. I, I don't know. Are you kidding me? Are you hit the right buttons? Yeah. Let's get the gas station. Jeez, I tell you. It just doesn't end, man. Going on vacation is not easy. Anybody here thinks it is? Wow. So I'm dragging. What a total drag. So the, the rear hitch in this vehicle is dragging. Right, here you go. Got the golf cart guy. Going to go golf this morning? Yeah. Uh, so I really haven't had this truck out there. I really haven't had this truck out in the main road. So, I don't know. I don't know what the stance of this thing is, but it's obvious. <laughs> I'm dragging. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know. It's just so much information on these vehicles. Yeah, I know. Showed the kid's name. Are you freaking out that? Probably going to take this part of the video. Wow. 37 degrees. Wow, isn't this crazy? Florida. This is, I mean, today, this morning, I was going to say it's borderline as cold as up north. Yeah, I could adjust my thing with jigger. Oof. Wait for the scrape. Got to get gas. My truck is not needed as much as my the kid behind me does. Look at this here. It's a Sunday morning. You know, you just wonder yourself, when does anybody just take a time out in life? Most of us won't. This guy here, he's barely stopping. But... All right, here we go. But we're by no means even on the main road as far as you got to get gas. Then it's going to be about getting this. Then it's going to be about this. And then that. And this. And that. And blah, 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 right? I get this thing in sport mode. Nope, nope, wrong. Okay, yeah, I can definitely feel this trailer. It's definitely got more weight in it. I guarantee I've got at least 150 more pounds of weight. At least. It's about 200. That'd be my guess. So, fuel economy's going to go down the toilet today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's so funny. Doesn't even show the price once it starts. Three nineteen a gallon, but that's really weird. I've never seen that. Now it's going to like the kid. Where is this thing dragging? I mean, to me, this thing doesn't look that bad. I have no idea. No idea. Yeah. 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 Why is the windows rolling down? I have no idea.
Say what? All right, there she is. Now, what do you want? All right, there's the first fill up, 8.6 gallons. And how does the price play out as the day progresses, right? All right, now, how does the fuel mileage go? Yeah, we know that's gonna play out. Boy, it's weird how things play out in life. I'm such a believer in life. I think what's sad in our physical world there's so many people that just do mean things to others. And it's just really sad how people try to control things to try to think they're going to win their ways. I mean, it's really bad. And for me, that just isn't who I am in life. And I've been blessed. I mean, if anybody watches my channel, you have no idea the car deals I've pulled off that it's just beyond believable. And for me, this, this Raptor Bronco, I just got to thinking to myself, had it not been, I, just, I don't even know where my kid is. It's very difficult to see behind his trailer. But anyways, <clears throat> the whole point is, if I didn't get this Raptor Bronco, I don't think I could have brought down my other Bronco. I mean, that the four-door regular Bronco is a 3,200-pound 3, 3, rated tow capacity, even though I was, I think, towing like 3,600 pounds, maybe even 3,800 pounds of that vehicle. I mean, it didn't give me any problems. But I'd have to honestly say right now, this trailer today, since I have two basically dresser bikes to the borderline, I mean, the Harley, there's a thousand pounds. The, I would say the Indian Super Chief, I would say it's 750 maybe. I mean, I would say, you know, I'll say it's 700, 1700 pounds. The trailer, this trailer has to weigh, I would say, what would you say, 2,000 pounds? Yeah, I mean, so right there, this, this vehicle is already at what? 3,700 conserved with no gear in it? I just don't doubt my mind, I'm at 4,000 pounds right now in this, in this vehicle. So, if I had my other Bronco, yeah, I mean, you're pushing it. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I mean, for me, I drove that truck and trailer, and there was no issues whatsoever. But the whole point is, with the Raptor, that I have now, I believe this is what a 4,500 tow capacity. The main road, it's just ah, uh, the cyclists here, man. I just don't like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. On a 55 mile an hour road, just think you're crazy. These lights are going to turn. I knew it. There it is. But the truck's doing great, slowing down. That's awesome. So right now I got the dial. The dial set just right. This is hard to set in. I mean, very challenging. I can see that better through my camera than just the normal. The normal. I mean, I'll tell you what, for this being Florida, Sunday morning, it's only like 7, you know, it's only 8 o'clock, and uh, I could be kidding myself. <clears throat> the roads could be a little bit more than I realize. I mean, they're not radical by any means, but where's the good old days? You used to get up on a Sunday morning, and you're like the only one going down days. You have to race. Racing. And this is this Raptor, I mean, this thing just rocks. This thing, there's no issue this vehicle pulling the weight. That's how it's going on. What's going on is we've got a nice uh, cop sitting up here. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah, so what's really going on, though, about what they claim is your gross tow capacity. So, so what I'm going really in full circle here in my big conversation is, you know, I was just blessed to get this Raptor truck to be down here now and for me to pick up more bikes. And even the point that I see, I'm putting a third bike in the trailer. And that definitely would have put me in 4,500 pounds. Yeah, but, but now, I don't know, man, they probably would have squatted this back end just way too much. Yeah, we'll get some pictures of the kid. What's going on here? Let's just say one, two, three. That's really weird. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. The, something's going on there. It ain't right. The key to the freaking race truck. Yeah, it just drives you nuts. When you're going to vacation, you just have to know. If you go on vacation, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, it just doesn't end, if you know what I mean. Anybody else here? Be like, yeah, I know what you mean. 
kid's hungry, so next stop's gonna be get food. Boy, I wish that was only the truth. 277 miles to empty. That's gonna go to 140, 160 miles to empty. Fuel mileage going you know, from 14 and a half to probably about eight. Oh my goodness gracious. That's just beyond believable. We were down here for close to five weeks. I mean, wow. Wow, it's just hard time. I talk about all the time. Time! How time passes by. Beautiful day though. So for the start of the trip, we definitely had beautiful weather. So that's a good thing. And I think once you get further up the eastern seaboard, I think it's going to be more overcast than sunny. But as long as it ain't snowing or freezing rain, ice, then we're in good shape. Boy, if you run into snow or something, uh, it's a front camera full service. What that's all about? Does it have moisture on it? But that would that would end up creating a problem for the. Uh, Cruise control. Look, see that? What's going on this far? What, what, have I been hacked? I mean, have I been hacked? I mean, the kid's saying the window doesn't work. Now I'm getting this fault thing from my dad for cruise control. What the hell is going on this morning? What's going on with my Ford products? Am I going to be eating my words? Yeah, the next downside here will be we'll be driving east into the sun. Saying that the, the uh, glare is going to be not very much fun. Yeah, the fifth gear in this thing is all the more more radical gear. When it goes to fifth gear, this thing really does a kind of a hard shift. If I'm kind of getting into it, you do. Yeah. All right, you know I don't know the name of this place, so I didn't put an order in. I don't know the name of this this area, so I didn't put a. It just does too much. When me and Popcorn were coming home from uh, the Walmart, when we were driving back, I saw Ted and Leah at a light, and. So then, <laughs> so then, I I told Popcorn drive around them and get in front of them because we were behind them. Yeah. So, so and I said, act like we don't know them. Oh gosh. And so we drove by them, and, <laughs> and Ted starts tailgating us. Oh my gosh. And like getting tailgating but like getting um like he started speeding up because he was going like under the speed limit and uh and me and popcorn drove by them but we didn't make eye contact or wave oh you meanies you meanies you know you gotta get your own ways account this is just a pain in the butt anymore i'm not using ways why does this thing constantly fight me anymore for using ways? I don't understand. I can log out. Well, but are I'm you not on? I'm using it though. No. So weird. Maybe. Wow. Wow. This fuel mileage, 5.8. This is scary. This is bad. I mean, I'm getting like six miles per gallon right now. This is gonna be a long day. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, why is the fuel mileage down by close to two miles a gallon? I mean, this is just crazy. So the temperature is 57. I mean, I'm driving, you know, this highway speeds. I've even gone down to 60s, 65 miles an hour, and the fuel kind of doesn't change. Unbelievable. Uh, this thing's gonna get six miles a gallon. Oh my gosh. What a joke. Hard to believe. So, I guess the tow rating of this vehicle is pretty cool, but at the same time, it kills. You just totally lose your fuel mileage. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Disappointing.
whining. Just incredible. You're, you're getting, you're getting close to triple the miles per gallon that I'm getting. You don't have to speed up, Dad. I'm not. In well, I'm not. I just, I'm not speeding up. I'm just kind of moving down the road. I mean, the 70 to 75 mile an hour range is kind of where the fuel mileage kind of stays the same. You know, so it's fine. I'm just, I don't have my adaptive cruise on, so I don't have my, I don't have automatic cruise, so I haven't used my foot, so I kind of go up and down. Oh, I never use adaptive cruise control. Well, I know, but you're younger and you're just not tuned to that. I am. I'm bored. The page, you're just setting it and going, so uh, yeah, pretty brutal. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be all right, but it's just gonna be a lot of stopping. That's the downside. We're gonna be looking for gas stations all day long, you know. So, yeah. oh well, it is what it is. Right now, I have, I have 89 miles still empty. I bet you have 300 miles to empty. Yep. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll have to get a picture of you going by in the truck. Yeah, I'll, go the, I'll go to the right hand lane and let you go by me. Get a little action for you. How about that idea? Okay. How's the truck handling? Good. You like it? I love it. I mean, the truck should really be pulling this trailer. That's the reality. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I mean, that truck would be getting 12 miles a gallon. I mean, you see how the bike looks. I mean, the bike seems to be pretty oh, stable. That's it. getting into it. There it is. Yep. How does the bike look? Looks good. Looks pretty sporty. Oh, well. Yeah, 
is what it is. All right, baby, folks are driving. Okay, bye. All right, look at that. 13.92 gallons. Can I get any more in? Just incredible. I've gotten this thing up about seven miles per gallon. But I think it's about as good as I'm going to get. Just incredible. Makes no sense. I unplugged my thing here to see if I can reset my uh, cruise. favor I bet there it's telling much diesel's gonna win all day long you know as far as how far you can go I know the diesel fuel is gonna be more you save much money yeah I don't even think you save much money but it's just the aggravation is stopping all day long today the challenge is to be just never ending stopping that's gonna be the problem it's gonna be a very very long trip you don't want to get home till midnight too many hours on the road, so he just gets old. Oh, boy, we want some more. Mm -hmm. It's too cold, buddy. You have to chill out. We're on 301 now, so slower speeds. So hopefully, you can get this up to eight miles per gallon. Well, I tell you what, I never would have thought. Crossed my mind and load the shrill up a little bit more and the fuel mileage would just go to just beyond believable. I mean five five and a half miles per gallon back up there on Route 75. If I really calm this thing down, I mean just wow. <laughs> beyond believable. Pretty incredible out here in Florida. There's just so many Poor people. I mean, Florida is such easy to assume everybody's rich. No way. There's so many people down here that are struggling. They just they barely have anything. You know, the running joke is years ago, people have moved to Florida and worked for half their income just to have the lifestyle, the nicer uh, weather, and have a chance to go to the beach. I mean, that's no lie. People that worked in Florida. They, for the most part, made half. Because they would sacrifice an income just to be down here. You know, that's all changed. But what's changed is people are making more money, but it's making everything more expensive. So it's, you know, it's a double whammy for uh, those who just want to live here for the weather and don't need to have to be the high-line job. And they're being priced out of the market. North Carolina. Look at this. Look at my fuel mileage. See that? Yeah. Huh. I mean, I'm going like 80 miles and I'm having to refill. I mean, wow. Just incredible. Traffic's light, but just a long drive. We won't get until midnight at best. I'm going to have to stop at least another uh, four times, three times. Wow. But this Bronco, this thing just hauls butt. There's no issue of power of his vehicle. The issue is you suck a lot of fuel. So the handling, stability, confidence with this trailer, I mean, this thing just rocks. I just can't emphasize enough. This vehicle here just rolls down the road like nothing. Yeah, we went by Bucky's. Bucky's. We got a brand new Bucky's up here on 95. 
in uh, Florence, North Carolina. And wow, what a nice operation. And they have ethanol free gas. I bought some. So I was hoping it was ethanol free. I'd bump my, uh, you know, but I don't think it's going to happen. But look at this. Here's, here's the traffic. I'm not even, I'm not even staying with the traffic. Just to show you the, you know, kind of what goes on here in this Route 95 area. When traffic's kind of light, it's just a freight train going up the road, you know. Yikes. Wow. Beautiful day, though. We've had great weather. So it's been to my advantage of kind of, you know, well, famous last words, right? Home yet. Got my driving glasses on. And the bike on the Harley. And the F-150 race truck. It's doing great. The kid's getting like 18, 19 miles per gallon. <laughs> she just follows me in the gas station. Watches me fill up and we drive back out. Yeah, it's going to be a pricey day on fuel. Uh, but oh well. What's, what do you do when you want to go have fun, right? I, mean, I know one thing. Towing with the Bronco isn't the best idea. So next time, be the truck going down. Oh, wow, sure. Just gas station after gas station. This is the furthest I've run it down. I ran her down to about 20 miles. What? Where are we? What happened? Hold on. Smithfield, North Carolina. Where are we? Smithfield, North Carolina. How far away are we from home? Oh, huh. Eight hours? Oh, no. Six hours? No, it'll be midnight. We still have a good, we still have a good five hours of driving. Uh, it's a long day, man. How's your, uh, I can't be right. See, this thing ain't working right. There's no way this thing's right. Okay. Checking the bike. Let's see how it's doing. Doing pretty good. Yep. Nice. Oh my goodness. The adventures, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like. Oh, yeah, right. Water. Gas is broken. Working. We got 16 gallons. So I'm going to have 10 stops. Oh, this is going to be definitely a $600 day.